This property is a 1954 bungalow, uh, about 200 meters away from the sea, and the client has this damp problem that's actually dried out. Here we are on the outside. Uh, there's voids on the insulation, and it's quite wet. As you can see, it's squeezing out the, the water there. Um, that's slumped down, <clears throat> tight injection above. Uh, so they have pumped it in quite fast. This is a southwest corner. The cavity is of a good size. And the paint is actually flaking because the water is getting trapped behind. It's being held within the insulation. And then it's drying out to a degree. And then obviously drying out the bricks. And uh, yeah, it's starting to flake. making a nice cold wet corner this is uh, July so it's dried out a bit and being a southwest corner it is actually gonna get all that Sun so I'm sure it was wetter than this but you can see just how much that's just still holding water uh, so we're gonna go around on the other side which is the south side here and we've got debris in there which was here prior to the insulation um, this should have been a failure and the client should have been told to clear the cavities prior to the insulation being installed but obviously <clears throat> the surveyors neglected this and signed it off but this can also cause the, the water to uh, track across. The insulation is quite damp here, um, it has drip dried out it's even damp where there's no signs internally uh, around on this bay here. So that's quite wet. So there we go, guys. Uh, I'm going to clear this out and uh, the client can redecorate inside without any worry about a damp problem. Please like and subscribe and I will put out videos on any damp problems that we come across as surveyors. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, please comment below. Thank you.